G'day, Richard Musgrave Evans here again and welcome back. Today I'm going to be painting the final in my Inland Australian River System series. And this one is the Murrumbidgee River in afternoon light. Now I've got a beautiful sunny day for this one. No wind and tranquil waters. This should be a bit of fun. Alright, let's do this. Alright, as usual, blocked in the dark shadows just to compose the picture. Today I'm painting on white primed canvas and then I've put a raw sienna clear wash over it just to um, tone it down a bit. Right, let's go. Biggest differences, okay. Now I've already established a lot of the shadows. So, I think I might get stuck into the water. Knock up a bit of water with some burnt sienna, yellow ochre, viridian green, and a touch of white to frost it off. Now I'll just have a look what I've got in a minute. Let's have a look at that. Not too far off. Like I said before, you can put your strokes in any which way you want, but it's good to finish with the vertical strokes to give the uh, feeling of the water and reflections. Now just get rid of that blue there by putting a bit of that in. Blue's darkened it a little more than I would have liked. It won't matter. Let's just bungle that in. Now I'll go further with this water over the sandbank. Bring the water over the sandbank and then put the sandbank bank back over the top of it. Okay. A bit more yellow ochre and sienna. Got here. Mm -hmm. it's a bit brown on the edge. You can see the transparency of the. Uh, you can almost see the bottom through the uh, through the water there. So it's gone slightly browner right on the very edge of this sandbank here. So just bung a bit more brown in the mix. shadows coming across too, you can't really tell, oh there you can, if you have a look over here you'll see these shadows jutting across as the afternoon light starts to kick in, really nice, I think I'll put some of them in. one. Now we'll go for the watercolour again, back over the top. Yep. Yellow ochre, burnt sienna. And then some of those colours. Fair bit of uh, sky reflecting in it today too. I'll put that in in a minute. Hang on, let me just bung a bit more of this in. And I'll stand back and have a look. Right now. Beautiful reflections in the distance here with a bank. I'll start putting the colour of the bank in. It's a bit richer today. We've got a bit more orange in there and I love to use orange as you know. I'll bang some of that. The afternoon light's making it slightly brighter too. It's quite a rich colour over there. Lightly touch it. Now 
bit more of a neutral colour as well. We don't want to get too carried away with just bright colours. Now, mix a bit of that up, get some nice downward marks here, that'll be, that will be the reflection of that distant bank. Okay, now I'll get here and Clean knife pull straight down. Oops. I think I'll go up a size. Clean knife pull straight through. That's not. Let's just mix that in, into each other a bit more first before I do that. Right now, pull. That's it. What right, clean pull? Okay. Right, let's get that sky in. Sky colour today. Blue. Let's mix up a little brew over here. I've burnt sienna yellow ochre and uh, white. Plenty of white in it to lighten the tone. Whoops, it's got a real green colour. Hang on. Hang a sec, hang a sec. I'll mix that into my blue. Let's see what I've got here. Is it light enough in tone? Seems to be, so. Lightly. Put it in. Okay, a bit more blue in the mix. Are you able to see? I'm not standing in the way, am I? Maybe I am, maybe I don't know. Right, half mix that. Got to make sure when I'm working here, it's duck or a fish or something. Eh? Just want to make sure I'm not in the way. Okay, now I might just wipe that clean and pull some of them up. Okay, into a stronger blue. There's a bit of red thrown in. Tiny bit more white. Tiny bit more blue. Just mix the colours, get them right as you're going. It's actually a very fine canvas, this one. Got a very fine weave. It's actually not too bad to paint on. It's a bit more like painting on board. You can feel the knife really slipping and sliding on it. Which I think is a good thing. Just doing a bit of blending here. Oh, what the heck was that? That was a mess up. Big blob of white got in the, in the works then. I'm wiping the knife clean each time and then blending those colours, wiping it clean, blending. And that brings all those colours together. Take a bit off there. Alright, now I'll stand back and have a look.
Okay, move that there. Loading all this stuff in here. Do a bit of the bank over there a bit more. Okay, now I've got all the shadow tones in on the foliage. I'll go for some light tones on the foliage now. Yellow ochre, burnt sienna, medium green, a little bit of that sky blue thrown in. Just a little brew magenta over here so I can half mix that into it. What I got. A little bit of orange in the mix to warm it up. Now, yeah. very lightly touching as usual. There's some sheep out there. I don't know if you can see. You know, it's a bit, they're a bit bleached out. They're going to stand right out of the way to look. There's some sheep on that bank just out there. Bit of interest. Okay. Just lightly, very lightly touching. Letting the shadow peek through here and there. Okay, now to receive it in the distance, some of that sky blue with the mauve, I'll half mix that into the uh, Foliage colour. I should just knock it back a bit. Not quite what I want. So what I'll do is clean that area. Get a bit of magenta, a bit of blue and white. Mix up a nice little dusty mode there. Got my other colour here. Foliage. With the yellow ochres and the greens. Okay, now half mix that mauve into it. Now let's have a look. Just lightly touch. Oops, got a bit of strong green in there. That's alright, you can clean the knife and smudge and take it out. Smudge. Let's get a clean bit of uh, paper. Okay, what have we got? Let's have a look. Half wipe. Half wipe just to blend the colours. I'll stand back and have a look at that. Yellow ochre, cat orange, a bit more yellow ochre, cat orange and white. There's a bit of light foliage catching stuff here, we just bung some of that in. The odd light tone, oops, hang a sec. Not so sure I want that one there. Take some of that out. Okay, now, what I've got to work out here is, This bank, let's work on that bank there. It's a beautiful light tone. Let's make it a nice light tone. Not that light, hang on. Before I put it in, I'm just going to put a slightly darker tone on the edge of it where the soil is wet. Better to put light over dark, so it's probably best to stick some of that dark in now, I reckon, like so. Then get the lighter tone of the uh, K 
Okay, let's just look at that. Getting there, getting there. Okay. Clean up the area here. Bit of area cleaned up so I can work. Blue, magenta, white, dusty mauve. Half fix is a bit of that orange. Adding that into the distance a bit to put the dusty foliage here and there. Now, have a look here. What have we got? Am I standing in the way? Hopefully not. Now we're going to put too much down here, so what I'm going to do is take that off if I can. Oops. Okay. Biggest difference is always working, the biggest difference is what we've got here is. Bits of blue, let's have a look here. That sky colour. Mix that up. We're just getting a few of the nice sky tones uh, reflecting in here. Go a little bit deeper in tone. bit there. I'm just lightly putting it in to start with. And I'll deepen it up a little bit to come up closer. There's quite a lot under here so I'm just going to bung it in like so. Just lightly putting it in for now. And then let's have a look. Just pull through. How big enough is this thing? Got lost. Let's just get some of that back in. A bit burnt down a yellow ochre. Okay. Clean that up. Make up some more of that bank colour. Not to be quite strong and bold there. Clean knife. I keep saying I need to use a clean knife so I should listen to myself.
Okay, so what have we got so far? Let's have a look at this. Right. Mix up a little bit more foliage colour. Seem to have run out of that. And mix up that magenta dusty mauve over there so I can bung that into it. To recede it off a bit. bit of a shadow tone here. There's a nice vertical branch just here, so I'm going to put that in because I like it. Yep, see what I'm doing. Right, let me work this out just there. Like so. Casting a really nice shadow. Here's the edge of the knife to do that. So, a bit more of the orange in that yellow ochre and white mix. Let's do a thing a bit more of the banking over there. Oh, hang on, hang on. Yeah, no, that's working all right. We'll just lighten that off. It's, there's a lighter, bit of a light tone here at the base of this uh, cliff just here. Well, it's not a cliff, the edge of the bank. Down. Have another look. up a light tone here, magenta, blue, half mix it with that yellow ochre stuff and that can produce what we got here. Doing a bit of the foliage, yeah, not foliage. Hang on, I'll get back to that. Some of the dead logs, I meant to say. Some of the dead logs. Now, uh, take a little bit of paint off there. Makes it thinner. Get the occasional branch. And a look. Okay, so, you can see here we need some orange highlight. Now, run out of yellow ochre. Whoops, a daisy. Here we go. The yellow ochre. While I'm at it, I'll throw a bit of white in. That's getting pretty low too, so there you go. Okay, so what am I thinking here? Right. Just want to add a little bit more of that warm reflection in here. So, yellow ochre, chat orange, and white. And 
Okay, it's going to need a tiny bit more, so it's got less white in it, just a little bit richer. And down like so. Not too bad. That's all right, now I'll just establish a little bit of an edge to the base of that bank by just putting a little bit of a... Oops. That could be a tad dark, I'll go a bit lighter than that. A little bit of a shadow tone at the base of it. Got to clarify the edge of this bank here. Oh, we gotta go this way. Now I'll bring it down like so. All right now. Just drop into this size pellet knife. A bit of blue, magenta, mixing up a bit of a shadow tone for just on this edge of this headland here. I just want to make it more of a statement in shadow. If I make that one there more of a statement in shadow, it'll make the background sunlit bank jump out more. There's more of a contrast between the two. And uh, it's actually doing it anyway, so why not uh, put what's there? That is definitely working. There's some really fine lines there, so... Oop, I may have gone too far out. Sticks and shadows coming in from this side too, just draw a few of them in. Alright, let's stand back and have a look. Getting there, what I might do is take a bit of paint off here just to clarify that edge. That'll be a sharper edge there too. So what we got is a nice sharp edge there, nice sharp edge there to bring up the edge of the focal point. Drawing a little bit of the, uh, that's too much, so I can take it off and slice it a bit like that. Just drawing a little bit of the sunlit, hang a sec, the sunlit uh, branches on the other side. Hang on, the paint's not coming off the, uh, the knife. Now what I need to do here is I've made it too thick again, so but that's not too bad. What you can do is thin things off. We're taking the paint back. So you get a nice structure.
took it a lot, but it would be better if it was half smeared, I reckon. I want it to be there, but I don't want it to be too demanding, so. back on again I lost a bit of greenery there let's just bung that back on I'll stand back and have a look what I'm doing Go to this little knife for a minute to clarify the edge here. I'll just make take a bit of paint off. Like so. To draw some of that foliage. Why do I keep saying foliage? To draw some of those branches and whatever else. Now. There's a nice shadow just here running up the bank. Just have to go ever so slightly lighter in tone. Stand back and have a look at that. Oh, hang on, before I do, I can see something already. Give that green. Pull down like so. Now I like it on white again. Get rid of that blue on the edge. Keep it all clean. You want to keep the colours clean all the time. Right, white. Yellow ochre. Slightly deeper version of it, not too much. chunk of blue getting in amongst it, it cannot have that. I'm working cold blue straight in. Wipe it clean. Right. Bit of a shadow tone here, that log. Nice. Hmm. I might just stop for a minute and have a look at what I've got. Let's have a look at what I've got. Half smudge that a bit. 
this is off the nose with a wipe. Keep this paper. Pull through. And we're just putting some of the highlights, the blue highlights. The water's got a slight bit of flow to it, it's moving. Just getting a little rippling effect here and there every now and then, so just put that in. Now, over here, on the shadow there from that, that tree. Okay, so that's about it. Just take a bit of paint off the side there. Right, so that's about it. Okay, um, what I'll do is I'll get the camera off, let you have a look. You can see the colours I've been using and whatever else. Okay, no worries. Okay, so there's your basic subject. It's a beautiful subject. You can probably see it a lot better now than you could before. So you've got beautiful distant bank with its reflections and then you've got this sand bank just here which is a lovely thing and because of the afternoon light we're getting a lot of uh, shadow on this side of the river okay so let's have a look at what we've got we just turn out a bit here all right it's a bit hard to see but anyway here we go there you go so there's your uh, distant bank with its reflections, here's the foreground sandbank and this is the shadow on the other side. Now as I said before, I purposely made that shadow very obvious here on the edge of that headland so that the distance here, very light toned distance, would contrast against it. So when you get have a look from a distance like that, the two jump away from each other. Same here. I made the edge of that sandbank here very sharp against the soft water, so when you get back, that pops against it. It gives you the overall effect, and so the focal areas are clarified, it's highlighted. It makes it easier to read. Clean edges where the focal points are. Softer edges where it's not so important to lead your eye into the uh, important stuff. All right, there you go. All right, well, that's the end of another video. Now, don't forget, if you haven't already, to subscribe and press the like button and forward it on to your friends. Well, until next time, we'll see you down the road. Cheers.